Welcome back to Country Homestead. In this video, we're going to be installing some new locks in our service truck. We bought a uh, a new, well, a new to us service truck. We've been rigging it out because my old service truck right there bit the bullet. It ain't no good no more. Tired of working on it. So, on these locks, these are a uh, some locks we bought off of Amazon. We'll put a link to it in the video, and it's a round key. And I've been reading reviews on it that people talk about not knowing how to install them because there's no instructions. It's pretty easy. Take the old lock out. And these locks, some of them work, some of them don't. Sorry about the car going down the road. These new locks, the way they are, people talk about two washers. This little star washer right here, that's your lock washer. They also send you a lock nut, so it's pretty good. This big nut that holds it into the door, if you look, on one side it's perforated, on the other side it's smooth. This perforated side, that's what actually digs into your metal here and locks it on so it's a lock nut. There's another washer here people was talking about. This washer stops your terminal, your tumble from turning. So it only turns to where you need it. You see that's backwards right there. So if you look here, you got two marks. You got a key here. You want to come to there, it locks, unlock. So on the back here, you got to stop. You want to turn this so it will coincide with your with your lock. You see how it stops it right there? So, you don't need it right now. I want my up and then over to the back. And you see how it's square here. So, put it in here. Make sure you lock. Your locking nut has a perforated area going to the back. And on it, I just got a 20. What is this? 24 millimeter. Okay. So right now, I want it up. And then you got two flat edges. Now this, this little keyway here that goes on here that turns you got one that goes sideways one up. That's because the way your lock goes in your door. This door has the, the flat areas. On the side bends, the long ones, they go a different direction. So, you see right here, this one goes up and down. And we, we want it to lock like this. So you take your little cam gear, and you can see here, I don't know if you can see it, how it has a little funny looking. You got to stop down here. And you got to make sure that your flat sections are right. You see here? So it'd go like this. They make it universal so you can put them any direction. So with this going up and down right here, see that would make it to where you can lock it. So what I need to do, I need to get my measurement from here to here. Now I know it's right below this other adjustment. So I will go over to my grinder and I will grind that off right quick and I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm back here and I got it trimmed up. You can see this one is a one that you get from the factory, original. You see how that one's going up and down, this one's going left and right. All right, you see how much I shaved off of it. And the reason why is because this one's made to go, you know, where you want it to slide over so your door is going up and down. On your horizontal doors, the one's going side to side, it'd be like this and it would go up and then down. So you'd use this other one, you know, this bottom one, you know, it's just, they make it universal. So we got it 
So what you do, you just, once your cam gear's right, stick it on there, put your lock washer on that little star washer, and then they got a lock nut. You don't really have to have that star washer, but it's nice they put it in. And that lock nut's 7 sixteenths. I just got a big crescent wrench. See how it's kind of going uphill. Just kind of twerk it down, adjust it. So even if that stays out like that, it still pushes it. So I need to grind a little bit more on it. Because sometimes that will that will stay out. Let me grab my grinder. We take a little ramp right there and make it a little smoother. See, even if it stays out, since I took a little bit of, made it a little slope right there, it'll push it right in. So, lock. Unlock. This kit, you can buy six of them. It comes with two keys per lock. So there's 12 keys and six locks. They're all keyed the same. I was worried about it when I ordered my second kit. They're, they got it where you can order one at a time, you can order three, or you can order six. So I was worried about, you know, if I ordered six and a three, if they was going to be the same, and they are. Luckily, somebody there, they realized what we was doing, so they ordered the same key. Because they do got different keys with different locks. But all mine keyed the same, so that means my whole truck, every bin will be the same, and now i got... 18 keys, yeah, so <laughs> I don't really need that many, but it's a pretty good deal. I think I, I spent 40 $45 or something like that for nine locks, so that was a really good price. Hopefully, it's all going to work out good. We'll let you know if it's junk. We'll let you know it's junk, but so far, I'm happy with them. They're, uh, they don't have no instructions. Like I said, that's why we're doing this video. Anyway. If you like this video, we'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. We're a homestead channel, so uh, we do a lot of stuff on our own. And uh, we appreciate you checking this video out. Y'all have a good one.